Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the talk. Uh, uh, myself Bhanu Shukla, I work as a UI engineer at Flipkart and uh, we are an e-commerce company, biggest company in India. So uh, uh, my talk is on accelerated mobile pages. So basically we have been trying to revolutionize and uh, make the web faster for all. And we keep looking for the ways to do it and uh, accelerated mobile pages or AMPs in short is what we have come to. Uh, please, next slide. So yeah, AMP is a pro open source project uh, initiative uh, aiming to make the web better for all. And uh, it is basically, it enables creation uh, of the web pages which are lightning fast. And uh, with AMP, uh, uh, the promise is that the pages will be loaded instantly. Please, next slide. So what is AMP uh, made up of? AMP is basically uh, three things. Uh, it has three components. Uh, uh, one is AMP HTML, which is a subset of the standard HTML that we have. Uh, and it, force, it gives us uh, 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 another set of uh, tags like uh, a HTML AMP, which uh, makes the uh, uh, servers readable it as an accelerated page rather than a, just a normal page. Then there is a AMP JavaScript, which is for resource loading and uh, the AMP cache, which are like the cache servers, uh, so the AMP pages are served from the, uh, directly from the, uh, and mostly these servers are uh, Google cache servers. Next slide, please. So yeah, uh, previous, yeah. Yeah, so what is of, what it offers? It offers us a tremendous increase in performance uh, in terms of a uh, huge, decrease in load times, uh, which is around 75% in some cases, and uh, data usage is also reduced by 10 times. Uh, owing to the above two, uh, as we know, if we take care of the above two, we have def will definitely have increased user ex experience and engagement. So uh, the media outlets are the pretty high, uh, going pretty high on the AMPs, and uh, they have mostly adopted it because everybody wants to be at the uh, better search results options. Please, next slide. So, uh, you, uh, so AMP has already got a pretty good adoption. Uh, we ha already have 1.5 billion AMP pages out there in production already, and it is uh, widespread, uh, uh, adopted uh, very widespreadly. And uh, even though uh, it has come uh, to the party after the Facebook instant articles and uh, Apple News, but uh, it has gone pretty huge. Uh, so there are a lot of criticism as we are here at the Open Tech Summit. Uh, the, the criticism is mostly about that uh, Google is using to shape how the mobile web works, and in particular to ensure a steady uh, stream of revenue for themselves. But uh, if we take the Google's point of view, it's, uh, uh, it, they don't claim it as a proprietary, and they have moved it at, uh, into an open governance model. Next slide, please. So is it necessary to really, is it really necessary to adopt AMP? And uh, so if we uh, see that uh, Google is now the leader in the search market with having uh, covering the almost all, most of the market share. So, and to an extent that we have the term Google it in the Oxford Dictionary. So uh, to stay ahead of the competition, it becomes essential for content-based platforms to have AMP pages and all the customer facing companies to have the AMP pages to have a better search engine optimization and search results. And uh, uh, most of the media s server outlets have already gone to serve the AMPs. Next slide, please. Uh, so is it disrupting enough? Uh, uh, have we uh, gone the, uh, what we are getting with this? So uh, the project is open source and we all are aware about the Google's dominance in search space. So with, uh, so it basically it uh, doesn't go well with the dev community because uh, the open so uh, we use open source. So we as open source developers don't want to be dictated and told that we should write certain thing in certain restricted way. We want to have our own freedom. So, but uh, uh, yeah, so uh, it almost dictates how the way HTML should be written. Thank you.